Actually, you may be pleased to hear that the journal is going very well, uh, not only in terms of impact factor, you could see that it has an impact factor of 4.55, so we are about the third journal together with intensive care medicine. Uh, we are at almost the same level as uh, intensive care medicine. Uh, just, uh, of course, below critical care medicine, which remains the premier journal in critical care medicine. Uh, but we are doing actually better and better, uh, largely due to the quality of the, uh, the in-house staff in London and the fact that, we, uh, that the organization is quite dynamic. Uh, everything is electronic, it goes very fast to, uh, to submit papers, to review papers, to have them published. It's quite amazing that as soon as the paper is accepted, you know, a few days later it can appear on the internet. How much time does it take to... Uh, Immediately, um, immediately that's accepted, it will be published, so it's, it's rapid, it's a very fast way of publishing research. So I'm not sure um, if everyone's aware of open access, if you've heard the term before, or what your thoughts on that are, or are you for open access, or do you have some queries about it? Open access is, uh, is the system in which everybody can have access to the research which is published. And it's actually the author who will pay for the system, as of course, publishers need money. Uh, so uh, instead of uh, paying to have access to the information by buying the, the issue of the journal or going on the website, this information is widely available to everybody, but the author will have to pay a given amount of money. I mean, it's a, it, it's a bit more than 1,000 euros uh, uh, to have the paper, the paper published. But you must have it in the budget of your study. You know that once the study is completed, you will have to pay maybe 1,200 euros or 1,300 euros. For some journals, it's even much more expensive. And then you have it uh, published on internet and accessible to everybody. So it helps to disseminate the information. And it's probably also why we have a relatively high impact factor for a, for a relatively new journal. It's because if you, if, you, if you click on the topic, if you go on the internet, half you have this, that, that information immediately and freely available to you, which is, I think, where all journals will go ultimately. That's how the other publishers look at us and they say, well, yeah, you know, we will get there, but it will take some time, da di da da we are ahead of the others um, and, and again uh, uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the publisher Biomed Central is very, is very good at you know, promoting new ideas and starting uh, new ideas and being in the forefront of uh, publishing. You had a question about open access? Uh, which is the average uh, time or period from admission to acceptation? Uh, it takes about 45 days as a mean between submission and initial response, which is, um, you know, at that, that kind, that time cannot be shortened very much because it depends on the reviewers, on the referees. And it's about the same time as for critical care medicine, for instance, or intensive care medicine. It's about the same time. But the big difference here is that once it is accepted, boom, it is immediately available to everybody. Whereas with journals, which are still printed, you know how it is. They tell you, okay, it will be published, but you have to wait for a few months before you receive the galley proofs that you need to review and send back. And then it takes a few more months before it's available on the internet, and then possibly a, a little later on paper. But, but it takes sometimes one year between acceptance and, and publication, and often more than six months. So, um, so that, that's a big difference. That's where we, 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 we gain a lot, of, uh, a lot of time. Because for the initial review process, well, there is one thing that could make us buy time. It is that we often reject papers right away if we feel they will definitely not be accepted. And that's something that other journals may not do, that critical care medicine, intensive care medicine may not do. They may still send papers for peer review. And then sometimes the peer reviewing process is quite 
the information received is relatively limited. Your paper is rejected and you just have a few comments from the referees. So you waited for one month and an hour, and an hour maybe two months sometimes, and your paper is rejected and you don't have much information that helps you to improve the paper. So we prefer, when we know that the paper has very, very little chances to be accepted, we prefer to reject it right away. So you submit, three days later you receive, sorry, we don't accept. Which is frustrating, of, of course, it's never pleasant to receive, uh, to receive a rejection letter. But at least you know that, okay, okay, they didn't like it, okay, we'll submit to somewhere else, and you didn't waste time. So there are people who send us uh, papers like this, just, you know, who knows, maybe it could become, maybe accept, maybe may interested. And, um, and that's, that, that's a way to go, I think. Uh, that's, uh, that's important to have that, that kind of, um, of, of, uh, of process and uh, rejecting some papers right away to buy time. Well, we don't anticipate doctors to pay out of their pocket. Uh, saying, not for the sponsored ones, if you don't have any sponsors. No, no, you don't need a sponsor. No, 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 it's, uh, it's, 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 it's money from your department. If you do some research, if you do some clinical studies, you know, if, if you include patients in, in clinical trials, you get a few thousand euros per patient that you enroll in your trial. So that money comes into your department. And that kind of money, you know, may help you to come to Brussels for the symposium, but may also help you to submit your, your paper to, to a journal. I mean, that's part of the budget of the department. So I, I, I realize it's, it's not a small amount of money. Now, when we were younger, we had to buy reprints, right? Because we knew that we would receive a number of reprints and before the internet era, these were cards like this asking for reprints and the secretary had to, to send the reprints to people. So it was perhaps not 1,200 uh, euros, but but it was uh, you know, quite, quite, a, quite, a, quite a reasonable amount of money and, and it was a while ago, so perhaps today it would be a few hundred euros already to get all these reprints. Uh, and actually if you want to buy reprints, uh, there are still people who like to have reprints, uh, that's, that, 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 that's what it would cost, I suspect. So uh, there was already that amount of money which was, which was necessary for uh, paper submission and dissemination of, um, of data. So, you know, in a study, having in your budget 1,200 euros, in that case, um, it may not be so much, actually, if you think at your research nurses that you need, if you think at the money to go and present your work at the European Congress, at an American Congress, etc. Uh, if you think at all this, you know, when, when, when I review projects uh, for grants, grant applications, you know, this amount of money for publication of data is you know, a, a, a small part of the, entire, of the entire budget. But now everybody considers that it is indeed a, a section that, that, must be, that must be considered. There is no way around it. You need to have some money for data presentation and data publication. But as, as you probably know, the, the, uh, the NIH now requires free access to publications which are sponsored by the NIH. And so that's, of course, part of the grant. Uh, I understand what you are saying about observational studies without any, any support, but still departments should have some money somewhere. Uh, I, I cannot understand that departments have, have, have no money at the bank whatsoever. I mean, then you cannot live. Uh, no, it, 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 it's, people have to pay for this, yeah? Uh, always. Yes. It's a general rule. Yes. Yeah. But that, that's the way it is now for original studies. Yes. That's how it is. But, uh, but all journals are moving in that direction. Yeah? Because that's, that's, okay. that makes sense if we want to disseminate information. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I find it personally frustrating when I go on, uh, on PubMed, uh, when I look for something and then I, I look at the summary and then I want to look at the paper and then they say, oh, enter your visa card number, oh my gosh, and so I don't do that, you know, but, but it's frustrating. Uh, and, and they ask a substantial amount of money, huh? it's usually, even if it's only five euros, you know, if you want to go for, you know, a, a large literature search, at the end of the day, you, you, you enter your visa card number, I don't know how many times,
if you have any suggestion for you know material that should go into critical care, teaching material, other reviews or whatever, don't hesitate because we are eager to collect uh, you know, new ideas and uh, you know, ways of improving the system. So.